you know, if you, if you damage, damage your brain in some way physically, you get you you damage your consciousness, which implies that consciousness is a physical phenomenon. In in my view, the thing is that that I think are really quite quite likely is that digital intelligence will out, be able to outthink us uh, in, in every way, and it will certainly be able to simulate what we consider consciousness. Uh, so to to a degree that you would not be able to tell the difference. And from the from the aspect of the scientific method, it's, it might as well be consciousness if we can simulate it perfectly. If you can't tell the difference, and this is sort of the the Turing test, but think of a more sort of advanced version of the Turing test. If you if, if you're if you're talking to a, d- a digital superintelligence and can't tell if that is a computer or a human, like let's say you're just having a conversation over a phone or a video conference or something where you 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 think you're talking look, looks like a person makes all of the right uh, uh, inflections and movements and and all the small subtleties that constitute a human uh, and uh, talks like a human makes mistakes like a human like 